time was, before the arrival of Mr. Jerry Builder, when a man's home was his castle. But time has brought many changes, not only in offences, but defences. By the courtesy of the Science Museum, we're able to show a wooden Egyptian lock of 2000 BC, with key inserted. It's remarkably like the pin tumbler type in use today. Another primitive wooden lock was called the Adriatic. Though made of wood, it was beautifully fashioned and worked on the pin tumbler principle. Next in antiquity was the lock with wards, pieces of metal inside to fit the notches on the key. Some of the keys were a very intricate design and the makers must have had their work very much uh, cut out. With lever locks came greater security, for each of the levers had to be lifted in varying degrees before the bolt could slide, and any number of levers could be used just to make things awkward. Wards and levers were combined in the Baron lock of 1778. It also contained two tumblers instead of one, and wards round the keyhole to provide additional protection. 1784 saw the famous Brahma lock, with six radial cuts in the key and a rotating barrel. Cabinet ministers use it today, though there's nothing but mechanism in the barrel. The German strongbox of the 17th century was a very ambitious affair, with an interior like a Heath Robinson nightmare, but it was the daydream of its inventor. This beautiful German lock with a figured bolt is at the Victoria and Albert Museum. And here's another fine specimen, the Beddington lock, made for Henry VIII's bedroom. He had six wives. An elaborate 17th century apprentice, lock and key, to the work of an articled assistant, who had to show what he could do before qualifying as a locksmith. The Chubb detector lock introduced a new safeguard, for by a special arrangement of the six levers, any wrongful attempt to open it would be recorded. After such an attempt, even the owner couldn't open it in the ordinary way. He'd have to turn the key sharply in the reverse direction. And there are small detectors as well as large. A novelty is this gold key on a signet ring. But perhaps the greatest triumph of the maker of locks, bolts and bars is seen in the strong room of the modern safe deposit. It's all steel where you mustn't steal. 20 tons of it in this door. And it's not the slightest use saying, oh blast, it's explosion proof. <laughs>